NVIDIA ANNOUNCED ITS NEW line, LINE OF AI PROCESSORS. THE CEO, JENSEN WONG, ANNOUNCING THE NEW ARCHITECTURE. IT'S DUBBED RUBIN, AND THAT COMES AHEAD OF THE COMPUTIX TECH CONFERENCE THAT'S BEING HELD IN TAIPEI. NVIDIA SHARES THIS MORNING UP 2.7% uh, FOR THE YEAR, UP 186%. JOINING US RIGHT NOW TO TAKE A CLOSER LOOK AT THE AI LANDSCAPE IS APURV AGRAWAL. HE IS A PARTNER AT ALTIMETER. And Apoor, let's talk a little about what we've seen with NVIDIA. You, you have a way of describing this. This is very different than what we saw in cloud computing. This is the semiconductors that are making all of the money at this point. But there is a, a pyramid that's stacked on top of that. Becky, thanks for having me. It's great to be here. Um, Jensen giving us a preview of Rubin is a clear commitment to their move from a two-year product cycle to a one-year product cycle, right? We saw Ampere series move to Hopper in 22, and then Hopper moved to Blackwell now in 2024. And going, expect, going forward, we expect them to be on a one-year cycle, which is in lockstep with their customers, right? There's two customer segments that I see for NVIDIA, right? One, you've got the cloud hyperscalers, and they have taken their CapEx up from 140 billion last year to now 200 billion this year. And that growth of 40%, most of that is coming from their investments in building accelerated computing in their data centers. And secondly, we're seeing a lot of startups um, and their product release cycles, as we have seen with OpenAI's chat GPT that you and I and our listeners have had the opportunity to use. They were on the three, GPT 3.5 two years ago. They went to GPT 4 last year and now 4.0 as of a couple of weeks ago. And so we are seeing this move from NVIDIA as a, as a, as a real way to be in lockstep uh, with their customers. In a recent note to clients, Wells Fargo analysts said that NVIDIA's latest announcements at Computex in Taiwan have demonstrated that the company is so much more than just GPUs. During his keynote at National Taiwan University, NVIDIA's CEO, Jensen Huang, unveiled a series of groundbreaking new NVIDIA products, including the new Blackwell Ultrachip, which is expected to launch in 2025, and a next-generation platform called Rubin, anticipated for 2026. He also announced the widespread adoption of its Spectrum X Ethernet AI-optimized networking platform. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at what Wells Fargo had to say about these new revelations by Jensen and how they could send the company to a $10 trillion valuation. But first, if you want to keep up with NVIDIA's latest updates and keep up with the stock market's latest news, you can follow our Twitter account. We post multiple times daily about the biggest changes and catalysts in the market, so click the follow button if you don't want to miss the newest market updates. Now, back to the video. This morning, um, and you, when you've seen the market on the left-hand side of the screen, there he is, there's Keith with us today. Uh, Keith's got two very interesting new price targets. One on NVIDIA, he says it's going to $2,000, and the other on Microsoft, he says it's going to $500. Okay, Keith, why don't you start with NVIDIA going to 2000 Make your case. Absolutely. This is so exciting because you're talking about $1 spent in AI is going to retrieve five, six, seven dollars in hyperscale expands. The company is firing on all cylinders. Demand is insatiable. At 30 cents, if we're looking at 30 GP, blah, I have red lips today, Stuart. Yeah, we're going to go Tuesday. from 30, 30 bucks per share, 60 bucks per share at that number, 2,000, 2,300 pre split. So, I mean, it, it's going to be uh, the most valuable American company at that rate. I mean, at the moment, Microsoft is worth 3.2 billion uh, trillion, Apple's 2.9 trillion, uh, Nvidia is 2.6 trillion. If they keep on, as you suggest, they will be the most valuable company in America. Do they? Is that legit? I think it is not only legit, but it is probable. I think that we're going to take out the number two slot this year, maybe next year at the latest. By the end of the decade, it could well be that. Now, don't forget, Apple and Microsoft are going to continue to innovate on their own. So it's going to be a tough race, but it's going to be a good one. In the note, Wells Fargo analysts mentioned that NVIDIA's next generation Blackwell GPUs are already in production, with sample shipments expected in the second fiscal quarter of 2025 and revenue ramping in the second half of 2025. These GPUs are expected to be complete game changers for NVIDIA, as they have significantly improved energy efficiency, reducing energy per token created by more than 300 times over the past eight years. On the other hand, the Rubin platform for 2026 promises to set new industry standards with its advanced components. 
Rubin will feature parts designed to work extremely fast and handle huge amounts of data, making it a big step forward in computing power and efficiency. In addition to that, the Rubin GPU will come with eight high-speed memory chips, while the Rubin Ultra Virgin will have 12 of these chips, providing even more power for demanding tasks. Finally, the Wells Fargo analysts believe the Spectrum X Ethernet platform is particularly noteworthy for its ability to support 512 Radix scaling by 2025 with the Spectrum X 800 Ultra and 102.4 T Silicon, which will scale up to millions of GPUs by 2026 with the Spectrum X 1600. Gilad Shainer, NVIDIA's Senior Vice President of Networking, emphasized the importance of Spectrum X, stating that it will enable businesses to fully harness their AI infrastructures. Jensen pointed out in the GTC Financial Q&A session that Ethernet isn't great for AI right now, but he also said that there's something being developed right now called Ultra Ethernet, which will be great for AI and he expects it to be available in three to four years. With Spectrum X, we know that NVIDIA is working on its own Ethernet solution, which it'll be able to sell easily with the rest of its products to its long list of customers. But that's not everything that Wells Fargo is telling investors to watch out for, as the bank also highlighted more announcements from NVIDIA that are set to send the stock soaring, and we're going to go through them right now. Hello everyone, and welcome back to Investocracy. In addition to these new developments, NVIDIA also announced that it'll launch its drive platform with Mercedes in 2025 and Jaguar Land Rover in 2026. Wells Fargo analysts noted the importance of these partnerships as the bank views them as inflection points for NVIDIA's auto segment. The investment bank pointed out several more takeaways from the event, including NVIDIA's emphasis on NVIDIA Inference Microservices, or NIMS, which leverage hundreds of millions of CUDA GPUs and allow various industries to integrate AI more seamlessly into their operations. The analysts are also bullish on NVIDIA's entire ecosystem, saying that CUDA has now reached a virtuous cycle. Underpinned by more than 5 million developer ecosystems spanning across almost every industry. With this in mind, Wells Fargo raised their price target on NVIDIA stock to $1,250 from $1,150, implying an upside of 14% from where the stock is trading as of the time of this video. So, is it time for investors to load up on more NVIDIA shares? Let's find out. But first, if you made it this far into the video, thank you. These videos take a lot of effort and time to make, so if you enjoyed them, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. This goes a long way in helping us grow. That said, back to the video. And interestingly enough, now we're citing a forward PE of closer to 47. So I shouldn't keep saying 38 when the price run up has uh, has moved the needle a little bit on that. Maybe the stock split is doing that. Um, but Nick, the, the point about earnings, I don't know if we can show a historical PE chart for their, for them or for other stocks. But if you go back to probably 2010, Netflix had a PE over 100. And there was massive debate at the time about whether it was justified. And in the long, long, long run, honestly, it was. Tesla, a little more recently, maybe during COVID, had a PE of around or a little bit over 100. That seemed to mark more of a sign of, of a, of a short-term top. So what to you, is there a number at which, you know, PEs mean something? Are they all just gauges of momentum? Or do we think NVIDIA can kind of earn into the high ratio that it has? Well, I tell you, you know, I used to work for Steve Cohen, and he would drill into our heads that valuation at a single stock company level just doesn't work for picking stocks that go up or down. So on a single stock level, I don't worry too much about PEs, whether it be 10, 40, or 100, I'm looking for the incremental earnings growth that can come over time. And additionally, um, Professor Bendenbizer's work has shown that 1% to 2% of stocks generate all the long-term returns in stock markets around the world. Wow. So you have to look for those 1% or 2% of stocks that are going to work over 10, 15, 20 years. NVIDIA is clearly in that camp, and based on the enthusiasm of generative AI, should continue to be in that camp. So it is one of those must-own stocks. There are a lot of reasons why NVIDIA stock can be considered a buy right now. For starters, the market for generative AI, the technology behind OpenAI's ChatGPT, could grow 43% per year to reach $1.3 trillion by 2032, according to Bloomberg Intelligence. This massive opportunity is why NVIDIA commands a market cap of $2.8 trillion and could grow more valuable over time. This is because NVIDIA's GPUs are used by leading AI developers like OpenAI to train AI models. 
and the demand for its H100 GPU helped drive a 262% year-over-year increase in the company's revenue last quarter. So, imagine how much more revenue NVIDIA will add once Blackwell and Rubin are released. The company's total revenue for this year is expected to grow 81% to reach $110 billion, according to the current consensus on Wall Street, and it's a massive advantage for NVIDIA that it can fulfill growing demand. These powerful AI chips have been in short supply, but over the last year, the company's quarterly data center revenue jumped from $4.2 billion to $22.5 billion. This means that companies are investing in more GPUs, and NVIDIA is the only supplier that can fill this demand right now. NVIDIA cements its lead with relentless GPU advances. The new H200 system packs nearly double the punch of the H100. Per the May earnings call, demand is outpacing supply already. As robust growth persists, NVIDIA shares could reach unprecedented heights. The company continues to innovate and expand into new markets, such as other chip products and networking components, to help companies build AI-optimized data centers, and this could take years to play out. Therefore, this multi-year odyssey has only just begun, and for those with the grit to ride out near-term turbulence, rich rewards may lie ahead. So full steam ahead, load up on NVIDIA if you're playing the long game. But what do you think about NVIDIA stock? Is it a buy at the current price? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section, and don't forget to tell us what your valuation for NVIDIA is. If you would like to know what companies like NVIDIA have been up to these past few days, go ahead and click on the next video on your screen. See you there.